electricity to perform many of our daily life tasks and electricity only helps us in doing all these tasks very easily for example we use transportation to go to our offices or schools sometimes these transportation make our life easier instead of walking if we go by transportation automobiles life will be easier same way by using electricity we have dishwashers we have washing machines we have iron we have uh, what else we have we have uh, mixer grinders normal grinders so all these appliances home appliances cooking appliances household appliances electrical appliances all these make our life much easier all these run by electricity our television washing machine our oven our grinders everything run by electricity and then all these things make our life very much easier so we use electricity for many purposes to make the tasks easier to lift water from the ground we have borewells in our houses to lift water from the ground what do we do we use electricity operated pumps when we switch on the motor the water will be lifted from the ground and will be pumped to the overhead tanks right so that purpose also we use electricity without electricity it would have been very difficult to drag buckets of water from the wells it is very difficult right if there is electricity we can easily pump the water with the help of pumps so again electricity is the main source for lighting so in the day time we will have sunlight but in the evenings we only depend on tube lights cfls led lights bulbs fans for our purpose all these run with the help of electricity so electricity is very important and then sometimes when there is unscheduled power cuts what happens it becomes dark in the evenings and there is no electricity supply at that so at that instances what do we do we use torch for using otherwise we light candles otherwise we put on the torch but who supplies all these electricity to us they are specific power supply stations thermal power stations who supply all these electricity to us so when there is failure of electricity there will be the use of torch so torch bulb lights up when we switch on the torch right there will be a switch in the torch and when we switch it on the torch bulb will light us and give us the light source so the major source of electricity in this torch light is electric cell so electric cell supplies the energy or power needed for the lighting of the bulb so electricity to the torch bulb is supplied by the cell cell only helps the torch bulb to light up so what are the parts of a cell the cell always has two terminals plus and minus indicated by plus and minus known as the positive terminal and the negative terminal and it has metal disc so this is the metal disc and it will have a metal cap so all the outer structure is made up of metal metal disc and metal cap its cell has two terminals positive terminal and negative terminal positive terminal is indicated by plus and negative terminal is indicated by minus so other than torch bulbs where else do we use these cells cells are used in alarm clocks tv remotes wrist watches cameras different types of cells radios transistors everywhere cells are used so cell is a very important thing in our daily life so inside the cell there will be chemicals so chemicals are stored inside the chemicals electric cell and when these chemicals dry up the cell stops functioning at that stage what we do again we buy new cells and replace them so moving on to torch bulb so in a torch bulb with the help of electric cell electricity is supplied to the bulb then what is bulb a bulb is a bulb looks something something like this what are the parts of the bulb but bulb has a filament like small thin wire structure inside which is called filament and then bulb has two terminals a metal base and two terminals and it has a outer glass structure glass case or glass covering so when two pieces of wire are joined to these two terminals and then electricity is supplied the bulb glows to the two terminals of the electric bulb torch bulb wires will be connected and then when the electricity is supplied to these wires the bulb will glow so how can be a bulb connected to an electric cell so bulb always has plus and minus positive and negative terminal and bulb will be connected with plastic wire the outer covering will be plastic and inside there will be metal so the two ends of plastic wires will be connected to the two terminals of the bulb two 
wires come from the positive and negative terminal of the cell and two wires come from the two terminals of the bulb when these join together the circuit completes there is a flow of electricity and the bulb glows always for a bulb to glow there should be a power source a bulb and wires and all these should be interconnected so that the circuit completes electricity is passed and the bulb glows so in this situation situation number 1 two wires are passed all these four wires are different colored so that we can understand easily so two wires are connected to the two terminals of a battery and the other two wires are connected to the two terminal two terminals of a bulb when these two are joined together the circuit completes and the bulb glows so in in the instance one the bulb will glow so see the instance two here there is no connection between the wires will will the bulb glow no right so here the bulb will not glow in situation 3 the bulb will not glow because there is no connection of wire here same way in situation 4 there is no connection from the positive terminal of the battery so here also the bulb doesn't glow next situation number 5 here also from the negative terminal there is no connection to the bulb so here also the bulb doesn't glow whereas in situation number 6 there is again connection between the two terminals of the cell to the two terminals of the bulb so the bulb will glow so in all these situations in only first and sixth instance the bulb is glowing whereas in the other instances there is a loose wire here and not connected to the terminals that is why the bulb doesn't go in 2 4 3 and 5 situation so this is how a bulb can be connected to an electric cell a circuit completes there will be a flow of electricity and the bulb glows whenever it is connected to an electric cell we have understood how a bulb will be connected to an electric cell now we will be learning what is an electric circuit so in an electric circuit there will be a battery which is having a positive and a negative terminal there will be pieces of wire a plastic wire inside which metal will be there and a bulb so for a circuit to complete there should be continuous flow of electricity only then the circuit completes when there are all the wires are connected to the terminals of the cell as well as to the terminals of terminals of the bulb then only the circuit completes and the electricity flows and the bulb glows so electric circuit provides complete path for the electricity to pass between the two terminals of the electric cell so electric circuit provides a complete path for the electricity to flow between the two terminals of the electric cell so a cell has a positive terminal as well as a negative terminal so two wires two wires are connected to the two terminals of the cells and the other two ends of the wires are connected to the bulb base of the bulb tip of the base of the bulb and another to the base of the bulb so always in an electric circuit the, the flow of current is from positive terminal to the bulb and from terminal of the bulb to the negative terminal of the cell so the path of electricity which flows always follows this path from the positive terminal of the cell the current flows to the base of the bulb from then from the tip of the base of the bulb the current flows to the negative terminal of the cell thereby the circuit completes and the bulb glows for the bulb to glow an electric circuit needs to be completed and there must be flow of electricity only when the circuit completes there will be flow of electricity for the circuit to complete all the terminals should be properly connected with wires so the flow of electricity in an electric circuit is from positive terminal to the base of the bulb and from base of the bulb to the negative terminal and then the circuit completes ele electricity flows and then the bulb glows so bulb glows when current flows through the circuit whenever the current flows to the circuit the bulb glows the direction of current is always from the positive terminal to the negative terminal and sometimes we observe that bulbs doesn't glow we say that the bulbs are fused what does that mean that means the filament part of the bulb that is a thin wire part of the bulb that gets burnt off so that is the reason even when there is a flow of electricity even when the circuit completes but still the bulb bulb doesn't glow because the filament part of the bulb is worn off or spoiled or burnt so 
bulb that bulb gets fused that means the bulb doesn't glow even when there is supply of electricity and even when there is completion of the circuit because the filament of the bulb has been not working when the filament of the bulb thin wires are not working then the bulb doesn't glow even when there is a flow of electricity and circuit completes and at that stages we have to replace the bulb that's why we say the bulbs are fused they are worn off so next you can make a simple homemade torch how can you make a simple homemade torch you have to take a cell a cell has a positive terminal and a negative terminal so to the negative terminal you have to take a wire a plastic wire and you have to cut the ends of the wire so that the inside metal part exposes in any circuit or in any connection always you have to cut the ends of the plastic wires to expose the inside metal wire so here the wire is connected to the tip of the base of the bulb so in this connection if the circuit is like this will the bulb glow no right when this base of the bulb touches the positive terminal of the cell then only the bulb glows in a homemade torch you have to take a battery or an electric cell and connect it to a base of a bulb from the negative terminal a piece of wire will connect to the base of the bulb but in this type of connection the bulb doesn't glow only when this tip of the base of the bulb goes and touches the positive terminal of the cell then only the bulb glows this principle applies in the torch also when we switch on the circuit completes electricity flows and the bulb glows so torch glows when terminal of the bulbs that is tip of the base of the bulb touches the positive terminal of the cell this bulb only glows when this base this tip of the base goes and touches goes and touches this positive terminal then only the bulb glows in this type of connection it doesn't glow only when the tip of the base of the bulb touches the positive terminal of the cell only then the bulb glows same principle is applied in the torches which we use when the electricity goes off next comes an electric switch we have switches everywhere in our houses in the schools in the offices so have you ever thought how does this switches work the switches on their back side have two wires connected to two screws one wire is known as the live wire which is always connected other wire is known as the neutral wire which is not connected it will be connected only when the circuit completes so to prove to explain you how the electric switch works we will give explain you with a simple activity you have to take a wooden block on the wooden block you have to put two drawing pins you have to insert two drawing pins on the wooden block and then you have to take a safety pin put a safety pin to the one end of the drawing pin so that when you push it it easily touches the other end and then take two pieces of wire and connect it to a bulb so when the you have understood right you have taken a wooden board to that you have connected two drawing pins and to one drawing pin you have connected a safety pin safety pin is made up of metal and then to two ends of the drawing pins we have connected two wires and these two wires are going and touching the bulb with the help of an electric cell so the source of electricity here is the electric cell so when this when this safety pin is in this direction that means it is not touching the other end of the drawing pin does the bulb glow no only when the safety pin touches the other drawing pin then only the circuit completes and the bulb glows so here safety pin acts as a switch so when the safety pin is connected to the other end of the drawing pin it is imagined as switch on position so here it is switch off position in both these activities here it is switch off position so bulb doesn't glow only when the safety pin touches the other end of the pin then only there is a flow of electricity circuit completes and the bulb glows so here safety pin acts as a switch so any switch which is in our houses schools offices when you switch it on the live wire and the neutral wire the live wire and the neutral wire touch each other and there is a flow of electricity circuit completes and the bulb glows same way here it is explained here safety pin acts as a switch so when the safety pin touches the other end of the pin other end of this pin drawing pin then only the circuit completes there is a flow of electricity and the bulb glows so when safety pin touches the drawing pin when one end of the safety pin touches the other end of the drawing pin bulb glows so here safety pin acts as a switch so here safety pin acts as a switch switch is a device that either completes the circuit 
or breaks a circuit. So switch only completes a circuit or breaks a circuit. Whenever you turn on the switch, circuit gets completed and the bulb closes. Whenever you turn off the switch, the circuit breaks. So that is how electric switch acts. When the switch touches the board and here the safety pin acts as a switch. When the safety pin touches the both ends of the drawing pin, circuit completes, electricity flows, bulb close. Same way in our houses, every switch on its back side has two screws to which wires are fixed. The upper wire is always fixed, that is called live wire. And the other wire is neutral wire. Whenever you turn on the switch, both the wires touch each other, there is a flow of electricity, circuit completes and either the tube lights, bulbs, fans, whatever it is, they work. So that is how electric switch works.